Scrub Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass less times than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Hey guys, okay, so this is the second video where I screwed up with the audio because my webcam sucks. So I don't even remember what I was talking about, but I figured I'd give you something to look at. So yeah, I've gotta do all the stuff. And then, okay, so we were finding the spirit well, and basically how this part of the, the last quest of Diablo works as of Reaper of Souls, you meet this shadowy person, or this spirit person. It's someone irrelevant to your character's class, so. Um, the demon hunter meets her sister, the um, barbarian meets someone who watches over all barbarians, um, the crusader meets a mentor, uh, the wizard meets an old um, the wizard meets an old teacher of some kind. Like it just, it varies. And I think the crusader is the only one where you get different people if you're male or female, so you need to get both achievements. Um, but yeah, so essentially that's how that works. Then you have to go through pandemonium, the pandemonium fortress level one. Um, and you have to try and find level 2. It's pretty straightforward, and I was really excited I found two treasure goblins uh, while doing this. Sorry, I'm drinking while I do this because I'm super, super thirsty. So, uh, yeah, killed the stuff and killed more stuff, and yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of things to say, I'm sorry. Um, I will, while I'm waiting for the stuff to finish, I will summarize by, I will summarize up this weekend coming up. So, tomorrow and Saturday are both college. I'm very, very excited about it. I can't wait to see what the big reveal is going to be. I'm thinking it's going to be the new expansion for, uh, StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, which is the Protoss expansion, which I'm pretty excited about because I've never actually played. Why am I looking into the webcam? You can't see me. I've never actually played, um, Protoss. I always, I usually play Terran. I didn't mind Zerg, but I usually play Terran, so it's going to be pretty exciting. Um, so f tomorrow will still be Hearthstone, Saturday will still be Minecraft, and then Sunday I'm going to devote my blog to talking just about BlizzCon and all the stuff. So here's level two, and we just kind of have to find the Soul Prison, which is right at the end of the stairs, and you kill the guy. And then now you have to find Malfeo. So you can talk to your guardian, and I missed one of the things, so I didn't end up getting the achievement. But basically, as soon as you see them and you're able to talk to them, stay not the first time you see your spirit your spirit guide or your spirit animal, whatever you want to call them. Um, the first time you see it, you can't see anything. The second time you see them, talk to them completely, and then you'll get an achievement for listening to everything they had to say. I screwed up. I missed talking to them the, when I saw them the second time. The third time they had a couple more things to say, but yeah, I screwed up. So I'll go back and get that later. Um, so, yeah, so then you just run around and you have to find um, Pandemonium level 3, um, which is... Um, just a big long hallway and it's in Malfail. So I, I did an event because event it was here and I went to the wrong thing and I figured what the hell. Um, which got me a radiant chest and I got a cursed chest part of that achievement. And yeah, and I was just checking out gear and whatnot. So I should note that every time you kill, the first time you kill each of the main bosses, the end bosses of an act, um, no, I think it's every boss, you get a legendary the first time you do it and then um, you're guaranteed, I think it's just the end of the act bosses, but for Diablo and Malfail, you're guaranteed a legendary to drop. I think with the other ones, it's like a high chance, but it's not guaranteed. And it's only the first time you do on a character. And I picked up all the books as I went. Those, uh, there's little books, Ancient Writings and Path of the Legend, I think, or something like that. Path of the Ancient, something like that. Path, Path of Wisdom, I don't really know, but, um, Click them as much as you can. There's lots of stuff to read in Pandemonium, so if you click as many of them as you can, it just means you won't have to run back and do it later. But given that there are multiple events that you will have to go and check out, you might as well you can do them then as well. It doesn't really matter. And yeah, I know I sped this up a lot, but I was I did not want to have to talk to you guys for like at half an hour. This was a longer video today. So Alright, so there is Part three, or level three of Pandemonium, and you cross the bridge, you go through the portal, and you fight Malfael. So Malfael's kind of a good I'm not gonna lie. Um, don't stand in that like I did. And the best way to fight him is to pick him, because those little cloud things that you can see on the ground just destroy you. Those guys can hit pretty hard, so try and get to the outside of that. Um, this is still phase one. There's basically two phases to Malfael. So this phase, you've got some abs, and he kind of does things, and then eventually, this happens, and he'll start doing a fiery attack where he'll throw those little balls out, and it's like directly in front of him and then to the sides, and then you need to stand right behind him because then he does a flame attack like that, 
you can't really see because I sped this up, but it can get really annoying. So you get him down to no health. This works just like Diablo. He kind of takes a while to die because they're drama queens. They're all drama queens. Um, as you can see, though, I have pretty good toughness, so I can stand it, and I'm only doing it on hard. So we did it, and you pick up all your stuff, and I got a legendary, which I actually started using. And then you get the happy violence thing, which is um, to complete this, which is to complete it with a, to complete it with um, the barbarian. So you get an achievement for completing Act Five with each of the classes, which is one of the main reasons why you do that. And I was just sorting through all of this stuff, deciding what to save for my followers and whatnot. And then I remembered that I didn't do the enchantress's uh, quest line, essentially. And we missed the Shen one too, so I'm gonna have to go back and do that. But so for Irina's, she's looking for her sister Lysa. Um, who was a enchantress or a spellcaster person as well as her? And then you find out that what happened was the prophet put all her prophet, the guy that she keeps talking about throughout all of Act Two and beyond, uh, put her and four other of her sisters to sleep. And um, you, they they died. They all they kept her sleeping, but they he woke them up to protect her so she could find the champion, which is you. Um, or whatever, uh, champion, hero, whatever. I'm playing too much Diablo. I'm playing too much uh, Dragon Age, rather. Anyway, so you run around, you have to find all three of them in this area. And then, um, once you find all three of them, you they have a bunch of monsters spawn, you kill them, and they disappear, and Irina's just... It's almost heartbreaking to do this with Irina, because the voice acting is so good, and she sounds just so heartbroken to lose her sisters again. So you fight the last one... And I just whirlwind around and whatnot. Yeah, I changed a move because I got a legendary that changed a move, which was pretty fun. Um, and then you fight Lys, and Lys is like, no, I, I didn't want to do this, I didn't want this, um, I don't think it's fair of you to ask me to do this. And uh, she ends up kind of going crazy, and Irina's like, yeah, I can't exactly blame her. So I got the girl talk achievement for doing all of that, and then I got the one for doing all of the quests and all the talking with all of them. So we finished Act 3, or Act 5, Act 3, Act 5. Pretty yellow, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you found that somewhat enjoyable at least. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.